Well, hi there. Thanks for joining me for a few thoughts from my Word Shepherd's Notebook. You know, I was going through this old Moleskina notebook a while back, and uh, I came across a quotation that inspired me and guided me for a long, long time, and still does. And here it is. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You are able to say to yourself, I live through that horror, I can take the next thing that comes along. The point is, you must do the thing you think you cannot do. Now, who said that? Well, it was Eleanor Roosevelt, wife of the 32nd President of the United States from 1933 to 1945, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He was the president most responsible, thank goodness, for the creation of Social Security, and we want to keep that. Here's something, too, on how to be happy by Pascal, the 17th century French philosopher. Well, Pascal reminded us that the major cause of our unhappiness is that we don't know how to stay quietly in our rooms. So long as we depend on outside forces for our happiness, we are wasting our time. And that's why I spend a lot of time in my notebooks here in the Bat Cave because I create my own happiness. <laughs> I hope I create some for you. And speaking of modern, everyday fears, including the fear of growing old, here's something you can do about it. In Harper's Magazine, where he was a longtime editor, one of my favorites, Lewis H. Lapham, he quoted the late English writer T.H. White, who said this, The best thing for being sad is to learn something. That's the only thing that never fails. You may grow old and trembling in your anatomies, you may be awake at night listening to the disorder of your veins. You may miss your only love. You may see the world about you devastated by evil lunatics. And that's probably more true today than it was in the 17th century. Who knows? But the only thing, then, he says, is to learn something. That's the only thing which the mind can never exhaust never be tortured by, never fear or distrust, and never dream of regretting. And that ties in with a line from Michelangelo that I like to end these little essays with. At age 87, the legendary Italian sculptor and painter said this, in Italian, ancora imparo. In English, that means, I am still learning. Well, thank you for joining me, and if you like these, hit that like button, and also if you want to hear the next one that's coming down the pike pretty soon, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for stopping by.